Let's make some layers, which are properties of the model. Click the plus sign, that brings up new layers. Let's name one furniture. We're going to put the furniture on this layer. Let's name the other ceiling. Now let's move the furniture to the furniture layer. Select it, right click, choose Entity Info, and then scroll to the furniture layer. That piece of furniture is now on the furniture layer. And we'll do the same thing with the table. Now double click the ceiling so you select both the face and its borders. Right click, onto the info, move it to the ceiling layer. Now you'll see that we can turn those layers off as needed. So if I wanted the ceiling gone to be able to work better on the model, I could turn it off. And if I wanted the furniture gone, I can also turn it off and then turn it back on as needed. This helps with regeneration and speed. At Window Outliner, I can see all the groups and components that I have. You see all those components that I brought in and they're made of multiple components. The beauty of the outliner is that I can select an item right from here, which makes it easier. In a complex model, this is very handy. So you see I'm selecting each component or a nested component and then it selects in the model where I can directly edit it. That scale figure is a component too.